Most people know from a very young age that they're either male or female, but that's not true for everyone. Some people just know that they don't fit as either male or female, and they might use terms like gender non-binary, gender non-conforming, or gender queer to describe their gender. For me, I've long known, I've always had a deep sense in my heart, in my mind, in my soul that I just didn't feel male or female. I, When I imagined myself growing up, I didn't think I wanted to grow up to be a man. I didn't think I wanted to grow up to be a woman. I just always had that deep sense of being neither male or female, but I did always have kind of a, a connection into a feminine a feminine energy, if you will. I grew up in the middle of nowhere. I grew up in rural Pennsylvania on a mountain deep in the woods. It was amazing. I felt really connected to nature. I loved animals. I had a lot of pets. I had sheep, goats, pigs, dog, cat, birds. They were kind of like my friends. Unfortunately, it could be isolating living there. I felt pretty different and people treated me differently as well. There weren't many people like me and so sometimes it felt really lonely. The other kids in school picked on me and harassed me and it got pretty violent, pretty bad. I had to switch high schools and eventually I went to college a year early because I got to the point where I was suicidal because of all of the bullying and discrimination that I was facing. What I want people to understand is that this is a deep thing inside of me that I really know to be true about myself. And what's important is that we just treat each other with fairness and with respect and that we treat each other the way we want to be treated. I know it's difficult for people to understand because most of us grow up knowing we're either a boy or a girl. So I understand that it's maybe challenging to fully understand and maybe folks never will understand, but What's important is the kindness and that we treat each other with fairness. But let's talk about something more fun. I've always loved fashion. For me, it's important to understand that the way that we express ourselves, the way that we express how feminine or masculine we are, it's not necessarily reflective of the way we feel inside our gender, whether we're boy or girl or gender non-binary like me. Sometimes, for me, it is about that. It's about reflecting my gender non-binary self and being myself. But it's also about having fun and being creative. I love big sweaters and I love sometimes wearing a skirt and I love jewelry and accessories. I like to play with makeup. Sometimes people look at me funny on the street or they look at me differently. And sometimes they look at me differently because they're trying to understand if I'm a boy or a girl or why do I look like a boy who's dressing like a girl. Sometimes they're looking at me because my outfits are fucking fabulous and fierce, so that's cool too. I came out to my family as gay because I didn't have other words or language. Eventually, when I was in college, I learned about the word genderqueer, which means gender non-binary for many people. I was immediately relieved. It felt like a weight off my shoulders to have this word that described who I was and to understand that there were other people out there like me who felt the same way. I know that I'm really fortunate. I have a very supportive family, great friends, a good job, health care. Gender non-binary people of color face even more challenges with discrimination and violence directed toward them. So now I identify as gender non-binary or gender queer. I use both of those words. I continuously come out to people in my life, my friends, my family, and I remind them that I am gender queer because it's easy for them to forget or um, also they might not understand and just stop thinking about it and that's okay. What's important is that we get along and have fun 